got the call. Then I missed it that I got a voicemail from a 65 year old school lunch lady. How do I know her age? She left me a five hour voicemail. By the time I got to the end of that message, I was already in pursuit and had everything I needed to get to work. Now out of those five hours, only two minutes was actually of concern. And out of that two minutes, she spent a whole 30 seconds just apologizing for whispering because she was still at work. But that's besides the point. What she really needed me to do was handle this grown man with these varicose veins protruding from the ground. My first thought was, I'm no lumberjack or root smith, but I am Gardner Goof with the one tool that's kept me in business for six years, common sense. If you can't beat it, fence it. The one thing I didn't put into consideration was if there's going to be big roots, there was going to be a lot of rocks. I hit more rocks than a boat during low tide. Then I caught mama bear slipping in her natural element. Food, water, shade, and another future baby girl on the way. Part one to a simple fence build is in the works. Just know we got everything we needed to do today done, but on the next episode, I'm gonna have to enlist all of my little ones. And just know, they ain't nothing to play with. Also, I wanted to give a special shout out to all of my loyal followers. Y'all did that. I asked for 250 followers. Y'all gave me 1,800. Not only do y'all not listen, but y'all love me. Y'all really love me. But since I have your attention, I'm really not going to post that Who's That Plant episode until I can get at least... 10 people to get the correct answer. I believe I have two loyal people, but from my last video, I have five. I wanted to up the ante into 10. So like I said, this is what we gonna do. Click the link in my bio, go to the video, watch the entire video, comment your answer below, and see if you can get a chance to win the grand prize of a new Who's That Plant collectible card. Think I'm playing.